I will show you about the first problem you have to do with GeoGebra. So the problem we want to do is to solve a Leon TF analysis problem where the matrix of coefficients is this one here, A, and this vertical matrix is the matrix of demand. For that you call GeoGebra, which I have already started before. First thing I do is I close the keyboard. Since this is not a graphic representation, let me make bigger this part. I'm going to input the matrix A, and remember matrices are input with curly brackets to separate the rows. So I'll start A equals to one curly bracket for the matrix. As you can see, GeoGebra completes and closes the curly bracket. Don't worry about that. Another curly bracket for the first row, which is 0 0.05 comma to separate 0 0.02 comma 0 0.1 comma 0 0.02 you close the curly bracket which is closed or you move with arrow I prefer to close because I'm faster comma curly bracket 0 0.15 comma 0 0.25 0 0.2 0 0.27 close the curly bracket and now let me input the other two lines in silence Zero point three is the last one. You can close the curly brackets if you want, but since the machine has done it for you, you can just press enter. I check the matrix is the same and looks everything looks very nice and fine. Uh, what I need to define the identity matrix. Four by four, the identity matrix will be curly bracket for the matrix. First row one comma zero comma zero comma zero, close comma to separate co zero comma one comma zero comma zero. Uh, I've done a mistake here. This is on 1, 0, 1, 2, 1, 3 zeros on a 1. That's the identity matrix. Okay, now we define our matrix B to be the identity minus A. And you can see the computation is done automatically. We need to invert this matrix. So, so we use the command invert uh, B. That's the inverse matrix. You have to check all coefficients are positive coefficients. Now the matrix of demands, as it's a column matrix, you need to put every element between curly brackets. So let's see, let me move it here. And it's curly bracket, curly bracket, a thousand. That's a row, so close the curly bracket. Two thousand, thousand five hundred, and two thousand five hundred. And finally, the result, which I write like this, result equal to the product of M1, this matrix here. And now I will press on the keyboard star, which is on top of the eight key if you're using an American keyboard, and somewhere upright if you are using a Spanish keyboard. Star to multiply matrix D. It's important you use the capital letters because we have a with capital letters. And that's it. This is your result. That's the demand for the first sector, second, third. Now you have to save it. How to save it? You go up here on these three. Look on top of the screen here. Click on there. File, save. It will ask you whether you want to save in GeoGebra. Simply say no and save. You save it with your name and your first last name. Save it. Check the directory where you get saved and upload it to the campus virtual. And that's all for today. You have to do a new problem, which is the same thing, but has to be five by five. And you have to make your own problem. And be careful when you compute the matrix B here. You, it should have all coefficients positive. If you get any negative coefficients, then you have to play a little bit with A so the B becomes different. See here, for example, if instead of 8.3, I put 8.9 and press enter, automatically everything gets changed. And because this coefficient was too big, get negative numbers and get negative production, which is impossible. And that's all for today.